I think we have a right to be upset, don't you? We go two for three in the stupid parlay last night, and here come the Clippers ruining everybody's night. How much more do you need, witness do you need to be, than realizing that there is nothing good, there is nothing positive, there is nothing redeemable about this L.A. Clippers squad that benefits or helps you in any way? That's what it looked like last night. We hit the Thunder, we hit the Hawks, we did not hit the Nuggets. We did not. What a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. You know, Lindy's triple-double bid falls short with Jokic. It just, it, what a stupid basketball game. Seriously. And if you wasted your night watching that with hopes that Art Parlay hit, I, I apologize. I wish I could do something back for you. I can offer you a thumbs up. You hit the thumbs up and I'll, there we go. How about you subscribe? We're over 100,000 bodies here. We're doing something right. Maybe you should be a part of it, right? And you comment. Can you tell me how to fix this brim? Do me a favor. Let me know below how to fix this brim. Like, what do I do here? Do I flatten it? Do I put it in the wash? Like, what's going on here? Now it looks like one of these things you buy at, like, you know, Bar Harbor, or Martha's Vineyard or something, right? Like some tourist hat out there. It's a good hat, but I think the brim is shot. Let's go. Philadelphia 76ers plus four and a half taking on the Boston Celtics. Look, Jalen Brown's questionable. Joel Embiid, well, what are we doing here? What do we know? What do we know right now? Could be some guys out. Chris Stapps Porzingis is questionable right now. This is what I know about this basketball game, okay? This is exactly the game in which the Philadelphia 76ers not only cover but win. In fact, an emphatic victory. A message, a statement, if I can quote the great Tom McGinnis. Oh, but of course, it means nothing. It's November 15th. We're in the middle of one of the first months of the season, the first full month of the season. And this is somehow some redemption or avenging of a playoff loss. It is in the heads of the guys playing for the Sixers. It is in this city. I don't know. I don't get it. But this is just one of these games. This is why, mind you, the Sixers are gassed at the end of the year because they're always at this point right now where it's like, oh, yeah, our starters played 50 minutes in a meaningless game at overtime. Play number one. Here we go. Number two, number two, number two. The Knicks, the Knicks. You know, I like the Knicks here because they come off. Granted, it was a tough one. I understand that. But they come off Monday's game, Monday's out. And now they turn around taking on a team that just played last night as well. Let's add the Knicks against the Hawks, who needed a little more. Now, they covered the money line play that we gave out here, but they needed a little bit more. R.J. Barrett does not look like he's a go. Uh, he might miss it again. And quite The illness questionable with the migraines, it looks like. But that was a beatdown they suffered in Boston. This road trip continues. It was leg one. Now you wake up. It's just like, all right, you know, we're on the road for a little bit. Like, we're going to Atlanta. We're going to Washington, Charlotte, ending in Minnesota. First and last road games of a trip, like an actual trip, right? This is a five-game road trip, A good to fade. Obviously, it depends on the team circumstances, what have you, but pretty good right there. Building this on Caesars or Bet365, I'll tell you about that coming up. But the Hawks, man, I, I think this is where you just saw them exert way too much. Talking about the energy, that's the theme here. Trey Young, you know, we're still awaiting that. but. The reality, of course, is not playing last night in Detroit does not mean that after his daughter was born, he's going to come right back on the second leg of the back to back. Right. I mean, this is not a knee injury. It's not an ankle injury. Not having Trey Young is definitely going to hurt them. We just saw that last night. They get the six point win at Detroit. Well, they played down in De Atlanta. Wasn't good enough to play down in Detroit. You know that. So Sixers plus four and a half. We'll lay the point with the Knicks on the road at the Hawks. I mentioned bet 365. Five bucks, get 150 back, or your first bet back up to a G. It doesn't have to be a G, but it's up to a G. 21 or older, 18 in Kentucky, gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. And look, I've mentioned this time in and time again, all right? 
There are about five states right now, maybe six on the verge in which Bet365 is open and legal. It's not in PA yet, but it's in New Jersey. I can tell you this because of what we do at Odd Shopper. You won't find better lines at Bet365. So if you think this is some bobo, poor man's, just barstool-like book, you're wrong. You're wrong. This is a big book. Like all the other ones, you're just going to get better odds and better returns. It's amazing. It's like finding a broken slot. So final play on the board. And look, if you're in one of these states, like the other states that don't have Bet365, we've got a link for Caesars right below. So no excuse. And I'm Caesars here as well because I know you're not on it, right? Like I could do DK, I could do Vandal. Well, check out this deal. Who cares? You're on those books already. I know you're not on Caesars. Last one here for you. Aaron Fox. 30 plus points on the night. Sign me up. Kid looks pretty healthy, does he not? I think you're getting a great chance here to jump in on a magnificent matchup that I want to target. De'Aaron Fox, 30 plus at plus 165. He's hovering around this, at least last year he hovered around this, and the big question was just injury. He destroys the Lakers, and they don't even have Gabe Vincent. So what are we talking about here? De'Aaron Fox, 30 plus points, plus 165. That is your third leg. And look, even if they go down, they go down swinging as a result of Fox. Great matchup against the Lakers normally. Don't have a defender in Vincent. Great. You think Austin Reeves? Hey, you think Austin Reeves? Going to slow this kid down? No. Stop. Plus 857 NBA parlay of the night. All right? Now, let me take you on over to the Odd Shopper Parlay Builder. I've gone to Caesars as well, and I've built you a parlay, okay? You want to sign up below? That's fantastic. You don't, you don't have to. I'm still going to go behind the paywall, and I'm still going to help you out. That's just who I am. So when I ask for a thumbs up, when I ask to you to subscribe and just some help with this brim, it's the least you can do. You know, I'm giving you free stuff here that's not even free. Okay, look. Wolves Suns will go under 57 and a half second quarter. De'Aaron Fox. Under six and a half assists. And then look at this. Kobe White under five and a half assists plus 112 at Caesars. I'm guessing that this is a fantastic number that's either minus or it's four and a half elsewhere. Unbelievable. Great find by the odd chopper tool. That's plus 653 at Caesars. All right. So that's your plus 653 odd chopper parlay. Here's my parlay. And that's it. 